Okay, this uh, video is about uh, installing the sand into the rack. Uh, a few notes on the uh, uh, rails that are the big part of this video is that uh, when you buy a, decide to buy an enterprise server, get the rails. Um, when you buy one of these things, uh, sometimes uh, the rails are extra or, and that uh, they aren't included in the price or the, uh, the offer that uh, you can, uh, that you're trying to get. So in all cases, whether you're going to use a four post rack or not, get the rails. You're about, the, the reason is, is that even though that you've decided for right now that you're not going to put it into a four post rack, you will later, or you may later. And to try to get the rail kit for a server can be very difficult. Um, it's uh, You have to basically hunt down and make sure that what you're going to get for the rails is actually going to fit the uh, server that you're going to be uh, using. All, ra all servers are different. All rails are different. Um, even between uh, the same uh, different models or the same type of uh, server, uh, you may have different chassis that uh, go uh, that are used for a different uh, server that are very similar. Uh, but they may actually you may have a different motherboard with different memory uh, availability, but it's the same t uh, same. Uh, generation of server and the same basic specifications, but they may actually use a different server uh, chassis. Therefore, the rails are going to be different. And uh, to find the rails uh, after you've bought the server can be difficult. And even if you do find us the rails, they may not fit. And you might spend a lot of time and effort trying to find the right rails for the rack that or for the server that's. Uh, that you own. So your best bet is to, when you buy the server, get the rail kit, even though that you may or may not use it. If you do are going to put it in a forced post rack, this pretty much goes without saying that you're going to be buying the rail kit. <clears throat> so anyway, this video is going to show you the um, installation of the SAN, the Super Micro SAN, into the rack, and a lot of this has to do with the rails. And uh, for the most part, rails um, nowadays are basically fairly easy to use. There's no uh, bolts or um, nuts or anything like that to actually try to um, secure the rails to the rack. Um, a lot of these are all now they just have they just actually just clip into the the four post rack. Uh, they're designed to. Uh, go into a four, four post rack so your rails will be designed to use the uh, square uh, holes that come with these racks. Uh, but anyway, uh, usually uh, there are directions in the manual on how to do this. Um, some are intuitive and some aren't uh, that I found. So, But anyway, after looking at it, you know, um, reasonable um, Reasonably, you can figure it out yourself. Uh, rails basically all are uh, about the same. Their design is slightly different uh, from uh, server to server. But anyway, you're gonna. They basically come in about three pieces. Um, one will uh, can uh, bolt to the the chassis directly, and the other is a two part system which slides out. Uh, one rail slides within the other rail, and these rails are connected to the four post rack and then uh, you basically slide the server with the other rail into the uh, the other uh, assembly and it, it slides out but I'll show you that here um, uh, shortly so but anyway this uh, video is basically going to show you my the SANS uh, particular uh, rail installation and basically it's about the same uh, across vendors there is differences and how these are put together, uh, but uh, generally the procedure is about the same. So um, I will uh, continue by showing you the installation of the sand. Okay, this is the uh, rails that uh, are came with the sand. Uh, it comes in a kit, uh, both the left and the right uh, 
uh, rails are included, uh, both the inner and the outer. Uh, this is a, showing you the outer um, rails, which is basically comes in two parts. Uh, what the uh, and they uh, this one slides out uh, up on top. This is uh, kind of shows you the uh, mechanism to how the uh, rails uh, basically connect into the uh, the four post rack. Okay, this is the installation of the inner rail. Uh, basically, the inner rail is uh, connected directly to the chassis itself. As you can see, there's some clips on there. Uh, this is the, um, the inner rail after it's installed onto the chassis. And there's little fingers there that you uh, clip in. Uh, that secure the inner rail to the chassis. Uh, this is uh, the other uh, thing I want to show you. This is the uh, clip. It's a little spring that when you actually install this, it locks the uh, inner rail in place. There's no screws or hardware. Um, continuing on, this is another um, uh, look at it. Okay, this is um, the, ins the rail actually attached to the four post rack. Uh, the black uh, connectors are just spring loaded and so what you do is you put it in and then there's little fingers just below the black uh, springs that basically lock the uh, rail in place. Uh, this is the rail and now I've extended the, uh, the uh, outer rails and they basically slide out. Uh, this is for be basically being able to uh, extend the uh, chassis completely out of the rack. Okay, this is uh, a closer look at it. And as you can see, there's little uh, fingers on there. And what those are is basically locking mechanisms so you don't uh, are unable to basically pull the uh, uh, server completely out of the rack without pulling down on those little uh, 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 clips there. Okay, this is showing you the server that on a fully extended um, configuration. You can pull the server directly out of the rack and fully uh, get into the uh, server and do maintenance. And this is what the uh, sand looks like actually after it's uh, fully installed into the rack. And you will see here that um, over on the left uh, there is a um, a feature where they, they, you can inst uh, install screws, screws to lock in the server into the four post rack so it doesn't, uh, isn't able to be pulled out. Okay, that was a look at uh, basically the installation of the sand into the four post rack. Um, as you can see, it was uh, installed directly below the firewalls and then below that, or below the sand, is where I'm going to be installing the servers. So. Uh, but that's in, uh, uh, just to keep in mind, uh, when you be, get a enterprise server, if you choose to do so, uh, make sure that when you buy one of these that you get the uh, rail kit uh, uh, as uh, part of the uh, purchase.